how do you, because there's like, there's so many frauds. Yeah. And they're selling themselves as like, well, there you go. I made it. Come to my class. I will teach you how for someone who wants to start acting to understand if it's worthy or not of their time to go to their class. I don't know, because this is something that genuinely pains me and has pained me when I've been to classes and when I've worked for other institutions and stuff like that about, you know, I've got a couple of people now that I've worked with for years who were complete beginners. And I don't know, maybe they would have found their way eventually, but I think I, I believe that anybody can, can do it. I think different people are more, uh, are more naturally gifted than others, for sure. But I think anybody can be an actor. And I just think there's probably a lot of people who, you know, they go to the wrong, the wrong places and then they give up because of how they're made to feel, uh, the direction that they're given, the guidance that they're given. Um, so I don't think it's avoidable. I don't think you can avoid going to a place and having a shit tutor, shit tutor. And I don't think you can avoid going to a place and being taught by a fraud. But I do think you can sort of come away from an experience and sort of analyze why it's made you feel bad. But if it's something that you really want to do and you feel passionate about it, then just keep searching and keep you know, keep looking for a good fit, a good fit for you. Someone that makes you feel encouraged, someone that makes you feel like you can believe in yourself and someone that actually is, is genuinely invested in you and, and your career and sort of harnessing what you have. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's the important thing. Like is the, you know, you go into a three hour class, are you leaving the three hour class feeling like they didn't really give a fuck about me? Like that's not a good sign, you know? Like, are you are you leaving a class feeling like I didn't get much contact time? Am I leaving a class feeling like I got a bit disregarded there? Like then they're not, that for me, that's not a good sign mm -hmm. for, for an acting class. You wanna go to an acting class and feel like, and it's difficult, listen, it's fucking difficult. When you've got 16 people in a class, for example, how can you give 16 people attention? It's, it's difficult and it's not always possible, but like, you know, you should you should feel encouraged and you should feel like you've been given at least one little bit of direction or feedback that feels like it's for you like it's specific for you it's not like a guys when we're doing singles you have to you have to sit like this you know you have to favor the camera just like that yeah, mm -hmm. fantastic mm -hmm. okay cool i'm an actor now doesn't <laughs> you know i know this i know we have to do the technicals we have to yeah. talk about the technicals but like realistically like being a good actor is about fucking harnessing your harnessing yourself harnessing your own abilities mm -hmm. your own character your own personality feeling good about yourself overcoming your hurdles and your mental blocks like all of these things are so more so much more important i feel mm. um so then if someone's not giving you that then fucking yeah move on mm. that's the only i, I don't think it's avoidable because mm. the fucking industry is full of frauds yeah it's absolutely full of frauds mm. uh, so I can't give advice on how to avoid frauds because they're everywhere. If you want to be an actor, get used to it. <laughs> um, Welcome. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But if yeah, but if you're training and you're new, um, you know, and you've had a bad experience, that isn't a reflection of the whole industry. And there are people out there that are fucking really good, mm. really good.